All right, guys, let's talk a little bit about 1201-1159, okay? When I'm looking at the 1159-1201, I never look at the tip of the needle because I think it's hard to see the tip of the needle uh, bouncing between the I and the N. I look at the shadow that's underneath the needle. Now, once I turn around here, you'll see the shadow is right there. Now, can you see how there's a line uh, right above the white, I guess, square is what you would call it, the white square? There's like a dark green line there, and then that, that green square that's uh, below the wind arrow, it's like a, it's like a checkerboard. You know, there's four squares there. Anyways, I'm looking at, literally looking at the shadow that's underneath the wind dial. If I have a shadow that's completely parallel or horizontal to the line there, that's a straight pull, right? But if you watch, if you watch the rest of this pull, you see I'm going to pull with a massive 1159, and we're going to pull into overpower with a massive 1159. Now, this wind is moving from left to right, and we're pulling with an 1159. That's going to make the ball travel farther. Now, watch this. Now I pull with a massive 1201, and we don't even pull into overpower. Now I move my target back before I take the shot, but watch this. Here we pull with an 1159, and we pull into overpower, right? Because we're pulling ourselves towards the pin. We're not pulling ourselves towards the tee box like we are if we pull with a 1201 with the wind moving from left to right. Now the opposite is true if the wind is moving from right to left. Does that make sense? Let's talk about that one more time. Here's the wind going from left to right. If we pull 1159, it will make the ball go further. It will make the ball, the flight of the ball will travel further. If we pull with a 1201, we're pulling ourselves closer back to the tee box. The ball flight will be lessened. Right? Okay, so here is the 1159 pull into overpower, and then let's just say we were doing an NMT and we went to go adjust from right here. Here's our NMT. If we pulled with an extreme 1201, we pull ourselves, see how we pull ourselves not into overpower? So 1159 and 1201 do play a big difference, especially in, in crosswinds. Wind moving from left to right, 1159 will make your ball travel further. 1201 will make it go shorter. And the opposite is true. This, this I've, I've, I've come to, 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 to just realize through uh, lots and lots of clashing and then listen to other folks talk about 1201. But honestly, it'll click the more you try to utilize it in, in shots and the, and the more you understand it. So I, I hope that helps somebody out there.